We took her over to you, Mary Swissness. Well, for one Louisiana church, the song Silent Night could take on a whole new meaning. The pastor of that church and his staff slapped with two criminal summons because they worshiped too loudly. Both confrontations with police end with the executive pastor being fingerprinted in front of church members during a church service. That actually happened. Now the church is fighting back with help of the Liberty Institute. Rob Wilton is the lead pastor at Vintage Church in Louisiana, and Ken Klukowski is with the Liberty Institute, which is helping the church. Thanks so much to you both for joining us this morning. So, Pastor, I, I just want to make certain that we're not misrepresenting this. The police showed up because you were worshiping too loudly? Yeah, you know, thank you so much for having me on the show this morning. Uh, our church is an exciting church um, in the city of New Orleans. We're one of many new churches in post-Katrina New Orleans. And uh, the Lord's been good to us as we have proclaimed the gospel all over our city. And, and so our church began to grow. And uh, really through growing, we needed to expand one of our properties. Uh, we made the decision to try and stay on our property. Most of our people love being in that community, love uh, serving that community. And, and we have a ton of young families. And so we're doing renovation work to our worship auditorium. But all of our kids' space, educational space is fine. So. Uh, we decided to have worship uh, in a climate-controlled tent on our property. And uh, from the moment that started happening in early August, um, we have had uh, our parish officials come out and uh, visit our property. Uh, there have been multiple, multiple changes and different things that have happened uh, from August till this point to where um, it's been a challenging time for our church oh, okay, as, okay, as but, we continue to worship Jesus. But, but, Pastor, I mean, New Orleans is a great city, but it has one of the worst crime rates in America. It's hard to believe the police actually showed up and fingerprinted you during a service. Did that happen? That, that did happen. Unfortunately, as we have um, received permission, we got a permit to meet for worship on Sunday mornings. Um, once we began to worship Jesus, uh, obviously um, some things happened to where it was causing some grief in our community, either through sound or whatever. The police have been visiting us and uh, giving us a whole bunch of different um, restrictions, different uh, requirements. We right. have, from day one, been sensitive to our neighbors, uh, tried to uh, be as quiet as possible. I've even had to preach without any sound amplification. And my executive pastor has been given two criminal summons in front of our church where he's even had to get fingerprints in front of our church that's, as they've come to that's, worship that's Jesus. That's unbelievable. Ken, have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, I haven't. In the Jefferson, uh, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, Tucker, uh, they're, it's not just what they're doing is wrong. What they're doing is in violation of the church members' rights under both federal and state law. This is really stunning, both under the Louisiana RIFRA and under a federal statute. If the government is going to be putting this kind of a burden on people's uh, exercise of their religious faith, they can only do so if it's the least restrictive means to serve a compelling public interest. The noise ordinance here, Tucker, it has exemptions for demolition crews and for construction, for jackhammers. So evidently, it's okay. The interest is not so compelling that we can't have a jackhammer at 9 a.m., but you can't hear the gospel being preached in yeah, the Yeah, but hymns, hymns don't qualify. I mean, it also, it seems a misuse of public resources, but there's, there's no crime in Jefferson Parish? Well, and in fact, uh, you would think that the, the, the officers would be focusing on, on real criminals here. And instead of going after these pastors with these citations, Tucker, it's important for your viewers to understand this pastor is now facing up to a year in jail for having preached under these instances. If your viewers go to our website at www.libertyinstitute.org, we have all the shocking yep. facts of this situation. You can't make this stuff Boy, up. Boy, I see a national trend here. Rob Wilton, Pastor Wilton, thank you, and Ken Klukowski from Liberty, thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas, thank Tucker. Thank you, Christmas. Thanks.